I am Toastmaster Rohin Kumar, the Sajjani Towns for today's session. Toastmasters District Mission. We build new clubs and support all clubs in achieving excellence. Before we proceed, I would like to request each and every one in this meeting, apart from the speaker, to mute themselves and you may use the reaction button or raise your hand in case you need to interact. Use the chat window wisely to raise your questions to the presenter. I request everyone to kindly refrain from the taboo topics such as politics, sex, and religion to keep our conversation safe and comfortable in this multicultural gathering. As this is a training session, kindly know that the session is being recorded. Now, I would like to invite an eminent Toastmaster to lead today's special training session. He has served several leadership positions within the Toastmaster fraternity, an eloquent speaker, an ebullient leader. Please welcome with a warm round of applause using the reaction buttons, District 105 Club Group Director, DTM, Saiju Victor. Thank you, DTM Rohin Kumar. Respected District Director, PQDs, my fellow CGD, and all leaders from across District 105 and beyond. They say that coaching is a process of equipping an individual or a group with the ability to rediscover their potentials. And it becomes a much needed thing when someone is going through a bad phase or a challenging time. And in fact, pandemic has shaken most of us. And it has affected the number of members and the quality of a club. And that is when the necessity of a coach comes into place. And this year, the Toastmaster International has changed and brought in a lot of positive changes into the club coaching system so that it can make a positive impact on the quality of coaching. So we needed someone very special a person who is an expert to decode this program professionally. And today we are lucky to have that expert with us. He has got an extensive experience in the leadership roles in district. He was the region 11 advisor for the year 2020-21, was a district director of district 105 in 2017-18, and before that, he served as a PQD, CGD, and he was actively even part of a PR team. So we are lucky to have a DTM who is ever ready to provide any help to anyone at any point of time. He always has that smile and comes up with positive, practical solutions for any problem. By now, you would have understood whom I am referring to. Without any delay, let's flood the screen with emojis of applauses and welcome our dear DTM, Sunil Kotaratil, to take the session forward and decode the club coach program for all of us. Thank you and over to you, DTM. Thank you, uh, CGD Saiju. And all the leaders, the wonderful leaders of District 105 present here. How many of you have suffered even the slightest negative way during this pandemic, pandemic period? I think most of you, right? In one way or other way. And you, many of you may have seen your friends, relatives, or close ones going through tough times and struggling during this pandemic period. That was a period which we have suffered and which you are still overcoming. The effects continues. Now, same is the case with the Toastmasters clubs also. 
During this pandemic period, you as those master's leaders all may have seen how your club has changed its functioning. Or what all problems or new struggles the club has gone through. And fortunately, maybe after a couple of years, we, have, we are used to those struggles and we have found ways to navigate through them. Correct? I think that's life. So we, the ups and downs is part of our life. Same is the case with those masters clubs also. Now, just think about the clubs, your own club, your home club. Do you think your home club is strong enough? It will remain strong throughout the life cycle in coming, in future, in coming years also? How many of you think so? That it will not be affected by anything? It will remain strong. Fine. Have you seen a struggling club around you? Say one of the clubs near to you. Are you aware that it has, it's going through some sort of struggle? Let it be membership, let it be uh, members' participation, let it be the club atmosphere, let it be anything. I'm sure you all will be aware of one or other club near to you that's going through some tough times. That's where, like human beings, like us, like individuals, like our friends, we all need some support, a helping hand from outside. So during the pandemic, we have seen how we individuals reach out to our friends or family members and try to help them, comfort them. It was very important, giving that human touch, understanding their feelings, their struggles, whatever they are going through. Some of them lost job. Some of them were struggling to keep the family intact financial struggles, a lot of things. Even today, some of our friends are still trying to find the jobs that they lost during the pandemic period, trying to recover from the loss of some dear ones. So this helping hand, this support, that's very much essential in even in today's world. Now let us come back to the same situation of a club, which I was mentioning about. A struggling club near to you or your own club. What type of support it will require? Or how can we support them? That's where today's session, the club quiz program is becoming relevant. So in that context, let us start today's session. Let me share the screen. The club course program is nothing new. It was there before. And some of you may have already coached some of the clubs, struggling clubs, and made them stronger. Some of you may be coaching the clubs, struggling clubs currently. So it was there earlier and it's there today also. But then the question is, why does it change? Why is an updated club program, club coach program? What's new in it? To understand that, 
we have to see the basic concept of Toastmasters International. See, we all are here for improving our skills. That's the primary objective of joining Toastmasters. I'm sure you all will agree that. We all want to improve our communication and leadership skills, for sure. And that was the main reason why we joined. That's the main intention of the Toastmasters education programs. Now, to improve the leadership skills, there are a few elements. One, improving ourselves. Second part, once we improve ourselves or reach our goals, to help others to improve. We have seen that in our clubs, how the clubs functions. When we improve ourselves, when we get a higher level of leadership skills from what we have now, and then when we help others to achieve their goals, achieve them becoming a better leader, improving their leadership skills, and thereby improving their lives, like getting better at the workplace, at family, or even in social places, functions. That's where we feel that we have done something to this world, something to this Toastmasters program. So in our club, we do this magic always. The club is where the magic happens, the magic of changing lives. So the quality improvement, we all want to improve our life. That's the basis of this updated club course program. Quality, that's the key word. Let us see how the club course program used to work earlier. We identify a struggling club. The struggling club never respond back. And the district leaders, the area directors, or the leaders nearby, or some from other clubs, someone will appoint club coach or step in and try to help the club to improve and they get the credit for that they get appointed to the district leaders finally they get the credit for club coach if the club becomes distinguished by end of the toastmasters year that's how the club coach program used to work if you notice the, the involvement of the club was very minimum. It's, it was always we step in as leaders from outside, step in and try to improve the club. But now the major difference is in the updated new club program is it all starts from the club. A club which is struggling will initiate or will re request the leaders that we need an external coach or help to become better, to manage the current struggle to recover from the current situation we are in. So it starts from the club. The club feels the importance. Making the club feel important, that's what we leaders can do from outside. But the club course program, the new club course program, it starts from the club. That's very important. It's not imposed on the club. It starts from the club. The club understand the need of an external help, an external coach who will come in, who will step in and work together, make a partnership, work together 
to recover from that struggling stage and become sustainable. That's another keyword. Quality, sustainability. That's what we are looking for. Not a quick fix. Not a short-term fix for this for the struggle, but a long-term sustainable situation for the struggling club. That's the difference between the old program and the new program. So we are all here to see continuous improvement in Toastmasters education program, quality improvements. So this is part of that quality improvement, the new club course program. It starts from the new, the new club course program comes into effect from July 1st, 2022, just two months. So it's fresh. So we all can be as leaders, we all can be proud that we are improving the quality of the system and it continues, of course. Now with that interaction, you, I think, you all may have got a picture of why the new club course program is relevant. Now, the main struggle of a club always will be on the membership and the quality of the meeting. It's related to these two. So how we can improve the membership and how we can improve the quality of the meeting. This will be the key elements the club coach will be focusing on. We'll come to that later. Now here, we have some conditions. The new club coach programs, we have put forward certain conditions for the club's eligibility and the coach's eligibility also. So eligibility of a club, all clubs are not eligible to get official appointment of a coach. Of course, a helping hand can be given to any club. However, officially, when we request our smash international to appoint a coach officially, then the club has to meet certain criteria. The first criteria, it should be struggling on membership basis. Now, the membership should be between three and 12 members. That's when we say the club is struggling on membership. It's less than 12. Now it should not be suspended or closed. It should be still alive. It's not closed. If two consecutive six months term, if the club suffers or keeps the membership level less than good standing, that's less than eight, then the club will be suspended or closed. So it should be, should not be suspended or closed. That means it should be active till recent times. That's one requirement. And maximum two coaches we can appoint at one time to help the club. The next point is the most important element, the change, I would say, from the previous club coach program. The club shall conduct a vote and agree that they need a coach. This is very important. The club should meet the current members. If there are 12 members in the club, at least the majority should vote for the requirement of a club. And this shall be communicated to the next level leadership, to the area director or finally should reach the district team, our CGD here, or person here, or the district director should be aware that the club has conducted a vote among the members and the club leaders should give in writing the requirement to have a coach appointed for the club. That's very important. So that's why I mentioned, which is starting from the club, the requirement to get a coach appointed starts from the club. Next, 
important change the new club coach program is this is a module in the park based base camp club coach program training module this should be completed by the club officers so the club has certain things to do to get the coach appointed or rather to get the, get an external help to manage the struggle they are facing they are going through 